This is the continuation of exercise 4D. We have question number 4 here. You have this expression 2 plus x times 3 minus ax to the power 4 and the coefficient of x cube of this whole expression is 30. They want you to find the three possible values of a. Now the first expression has only power 1 so keep it as it is 2 plus x. The second one has power 4 so we need to expand it using binomial expansion. The binomial expansion is a power n first term power n plus nc1 a power n minus 1 b power 1 b is the second plus nc2 a power n minus 2 4 minus 2 b power 2 plus nc3 a power n minus 3 b power 3 I'm going to stop right here at x cube because even after you multiply you will get x cube terms if you take the next term it's x power 4 even when you multiply by this you will get x power 4 only we don't need that the reason why I'm saying that in certain cases let's say you have 2 plus instead of x you have 1 over x here for example let's say you have 2 plus 1 over x in this expression instead of this in this case you need to take x power 4 also because when you open the bracket when you multiply this by x power 4 the x and x will be cancelled you will get x cube and we are talking about coefficient of x cube here so you need to be very careful you need to be very careful here if you have x in the denominator it can be x or if let's say you have x square here you need to take the term with x power 5 in this case you won't have like x power 5 now next step we need to simplify this and open the bracket multiply everything and then take coefficient of x cube 2 plus x 3 power 4 is 81 3 cube is 27 4c1 is 4 4 times 27 80 28 108 minus 108 ax and 4c2 4c2 will be 4 times 3 by 2 which is 12 by 2 is 6 times 9 is 54 this becomes positive 54 a square x square you need to square both 4c3 is same as 4c1 4c3 is 4 4 3s are 12 this becomes negative because when you cube it 12 a cube x cube so that's your next step you need to carefully simplify the terms now listen to me very carefully we are going to take the coefficient of x cube you can open the bracket take 2 multiply everything take x and multiply everything write the expansion here and then take coefficient of x cube or you got to be a little bit smart here you don't need to open the bracket and multiply everything because we are concerned about only the x cube term right so take only the x cube term when you multiply 2 by this it's a constant 2 by this it's a term involving x we don't need that x square we don't need 2 times this will give you x cube so 2 times this will be minus 24 a cube x cube the same way take the second term when you multiply by 81 you have x you have x square x cube so we know we need only this term x times this one which is 54 a square x cube when you multiply next term it's x power 4 we don't need that so you see we got the x cube term already so if you ask me do i need to do this or can i just open the bracket you are allowed to open the bracket and multiply all the terms but you always need to find ways to save your time so you don't need to take all the terms just check carefully and take only the x cubed now the coefficient of x cube is without x cube it's negative 24 a cube plus 54 a square this is given as 30 solve this you'll get the uh, solution already now put this 30 here and divide everything by 6 so you will have 
negative 4 6 are 24 9 6 are 54 5 6 are 30 it's a cubic function in our syllabus we haven't learned how to solve a cubic function so what I would advise here usually when you have when you come across a cubic equation where you need to solve this and find the solution usually you can plug in these values in your calculator go to cubic function put these values in you will straight away get the three a values you can do one more thing start substituting real numbers for a uh, not real numbers in teachers start from the basic in teacher 1 negative 1 2 negative 2 and check whether you get 0 for any number usually when you substitute few numbers you will get 0 for example when I put a equals 1 here it's negative 4 plus 9 negative 9 it's 0 this whole thing is 0 so definitely a minus 1 is a factor of this function is a factor of this function and then you divide this by this factor using long division method so you will get you will get another factor here okay and you need to look at the question and see whether it's worth your time doing all this thing otherwise just plug it in your calculator and find the a values okay when I put it in my calculator I got a is 1 we already got a value 1 and the rest two numbers are unfortunately I get decimal numbers but we are not supposed to show decimal number we need to write it as a exact value so I'm going to find the exact value without using calculate so instead of long division method I'm going to use another method comparing the coefficient to find another factor of this function so write the function minus 4a cube plus 9a square minus 5 is a minus 1 that's one factor you're supposed to get another quadratic factor so I'm going to take it as p a square plus q a plus r because when you divide this by a minus 1 your quotient will be this now I'm going to compare the coefficient both sides negative 4 is p we got the value of p already compare the coefficient this is x cubed Compare the coefficient of x square both sides. 9 is you get minus p plus q because you'll get q a square. We know p is negative 4, minus p is 4 comes here 5. q is 5. And then replace a by 0. So I'm comparing the coefficient of a q and a square. Now I'm going to put a is 0. So I get negative 5 is, this is negative 1, 0, 0, R. So we got R is 5 already. You see I got the quadratic expression already, which is P A square plus Q A plus R. And solve this, you get two other A values. So the two A values are A is 5 plus r minus square root of 105 divided by a. So we got two values here. Here one value total of three values. So let me repeat this again. When you ended up with this quadratic equation, the first thing you need to do, even you put uh, all the coefficients in your calculator, you will get the value. Some calculator will give you this exact figure instead of decimal. That's fine. But you need to learn this method also. First, replace a by positive 1, check whether you get 0. You don't get 0, move on, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 3, negative 3. When you start substituting few values, you will get a factor already. When I started with 1, 1 gives me 0, so straight away a minus 1 is a factor. And in factor theorem or long division method, we learned we can divide this polynomial by a minus 1 to get the other fact or there is this method comparing the coefficient you can write this as your divisor times quotient the quotient should be a quadratic equation quadratic function 
and then compare the coefficient of a cube a square or the constant term both side you will get the value of pqr so we got the quadratic expression now solve this you get other two a values Here in this question number 7, they want you to find the first four terms of this binomial expansion. So just apply the binomial expansion here. a power n, a is first term, n is power, this number 10, plus second term will be 10c1, a power 10 minus 1, b power 1, b is qx here. And then 10c2, a power 10 minus 2, b power 2, 10 c 3, a power 10 minus 3, b power 3. We got four terms, 1, 2, 3, 4 terms, expand it. 1 power anything is 1, 10 c 1 is 10, 10 qx, because 1 power 9 also 1. 10 c 2 will be 10 times 9 by 2, 45, you get 45 q square x square and 10 c3 10 c3 will be 10 times 9 times 8 by 6 which is 9 times 8 by 6 is 3 2 4 12 120 if i'm not wrong double check with your calculator please q q x q so that's the expansion that's all now part B of the question says the coefficient of x cube in this expansion is 108 times the coefficient of x. So they want you to find the value of q. So here usually when they talk about let's say you don't have this part. Part A is not there. Only you have this question. We need to use the general term we learned to find the coefficient of x cube and x instead of writing the whole expansion because the general term is much easier. But here you don't need to do that because we have the expansion already. Take the coefficient of x cube first which is 120 q cube equals the coefficient of x cube is 108 times coefficient of x which is 10 q. This solve this you'll get the values of q. Put this here. 120 q, I'm going to take q as a common factor, q square minus 1080 equals 0. So q is 0 and when you solve this, you will get q is plus or minus square root of 1080 by 120. So whenever you get values like this, always go back and read the question properly. Sometimes they will mention like q is greater than 0 or q is a positive constant or something like that. So the question says q is a non-zero constant. So just leave this, take only this one, plus or minus 3, positive 3 or negative 3, that's all. Here in this question number 10, it's mentioned that coefficient of x power 9 is p, coefficient of x power 10 is q. They want you to find the value of q over p. Use the general term of a binomial expansion, which is ncr a power n minus r b power r. Use this and find the coefficient of x power 9 and 10 first. Replace n by 30 or First term is 1, 1 power 30 minus r, second term is x power r. So when they say x power 9, the r has to be 9. So the coefficient of x power 9, which is p is 30c9, 1 power anything is 1, x power 9. So we don't need to take x power 9, we take only the coefficient. Q is 30q is a coefficient of x power 10. So replace r by 10. We got two values, divide them. So q over p is 30c10 over 30c9. So the answer is 21 over 10.
or you can write it as 2.1 that's all 